How can I fix a computer that is infested with malware and is extremely unresponsive? Possible duplicate. How do I get rid of malicious spyware, malware, viruses or rootkits from my PC? I'm troubleshooting a Windows 7 PC for a friend. A couple of days ago it started running slow. It turns out slow is about 15 minutes to the first glimpse of the desktop, and another 30 to show icons. It is possible to open Task Manager, and nothing seems awry, CPU usage at 1-5%, plenty of memory free. The machine is clearly infested with malware though, in particular a program called Optimizer Pro is demanding money to remove 5102 files slowing down my computer. This seems highly suspicious. My problem is though, that I can't access msconfig, I left it for a couple of hours after having hopefully typed it into the start menu and hit enter, nothing seems to have loaded, or anything at all basically. I can boot from a Linux Live CD, but can I actually do anything useful from there? System Restore hasn't fixed it either, and Safe Mode exhibits the same behavior. I recommend reinstalling Windows. If you try to salvage the existing install you'll end up spending hours or, likely, days working on it and have nothing to show for your efforts. And even if you were able to successfully run all malware removal tools I wouldn't trust that all malware actually had been removed because, by definition, the malware authors are always one step ahead of the malware removal authors. Once a machine is infected this badly it's likely loaded with all kinds of bad stuff. So. Format hard drive. Install Windows. And, as one of the commenters suggested, you should assume that all files and data from the old install are infected and should not be trusted. Various antivirus vendors have bootable rescue slash scan CD-ROMs available. Two free ones are Kaspersky Rescue Disk 10 Kaspersky Rescue Disk 10 is designed to scan and disinfect x86 and x64 compatible computers that have been infected. The application should be used when the infection is so severe that it is impossible to disinfect a computer using antivirus applications or malware removal utilities, such as Kaspersky Virus Removal Tool, running under the operating system. Average Rescue CD Average Rescue CD get your business back up and running rapidly in case of system crashes. Removes infections, repairs files and recovers systems. I'm going to hop in here and ask more about this first, and then post my assumptions about the computer. You said that it's using only 1-5% to of the CPU, but it's still moving slowly? While I'm not saying that it isn't riddled with viruses or anything because it could very be, I do want to point out that this is screaming faulty hardware to me. Next time you get the task manager open, go check out the resource monitor. Here is a simple guide to using the resource monitor. This URL. Open up task manager and go to the performance tab. At the bottom is a button for the resource monitor. Once it's open, check out the disk tab at the top and look and see how long requests are taking. Looking at my computer and the computer image found on that site, I'm going to guess that for a non-SSD drive, sub 100 millisecond response times seem to be what you are looking for. If the computer has more than 1 second response times for everything, your computer is going to be slow no matter how you boot it. Comment back on here and let us know if the disk response time is slow. If it is, you can try to run a check disk on the drive and wait forever for it to finish and see if that fixes the problem. Remember that this may not be the problem, but if it is, then reinstalling Windows or running a virus scan won't fix the problem. To add my ideas to the mix. 
Try taking the offending hard drive out and plugging it into an external caddy, then plug this into a working PC. You can then check the disk, run antivirus slash malware checks, defrag, etc. Also, salvage what you can of the files you need, taking care not to copy anything that could potentially infect another PC. Obviously, make sure that the host PC has got good protection before doing this. If after placing the hard drive back and it still runs poorly then I'd consider reinstalling Windows. The time taken to try to solve any other issues will not be worth it.